Now, I want to switch it to the bad. Um, it's not to say you're a bad person in any type of way, shape, or form. But I do want to talk about the um, the things, the uh, more so what's going on with people, how they feel about you. Oh, I don't care. Uh, uh, grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> <laughs> but what what is what is it about you that not that you care but what do you think it is about you that I like you have all the people that love you you have this core group of people wherever they go is to hate you for some reason who, who hates me I only really I only seen really one guy that hate me that talks shit about me one yeah, I've only really seen one person that really dislikes me, that's made posts about me, that's made streams about me. So I don't know anybody else that has went to that that far extent. Well, well, we'll say that. I don't know, but I don't even think he hates me because then he says he has a crush on me and then he likes me. So I don't really think that, I don't know anybody that hates me to do streams and stuff about me that I've seen. Go back to Fight Club. You you were in Miami with Anton. Yeah. Oh, tyranny, the toxic baby mama ho. Yeah, I I really yeah I don't really pay attention to women like that to her. Like she wants to call me this and that because I hang out with married couples. I mean, when we hang out with single people, I mean most of my friends are married. So should I hang out with baby mamas and city girls? Should I hang out with whores? Tell me. Tell me who I should hang out with. I will see, and I, I was I didn't get a chance to really speak on on that uh panel that much. But the thing is, I would much rather, it's like who else would she rather hang around? Yeah. Like we want her, like if I want to be a loser, I'm gonna hang around with losers. If I want to be a winner, I'm gonna hang around with winners. If I want to be married, I, it will be a good idea for me to hang around married couple. Not only that, if I was broke, should I hang and want to get out of that broke situation? Should I hang out with broke niggas? No, don't you want to elevate yourself in some way, somehow? Most of our, my parents are married. Most of my mm -hmm. friends but one are married. So if, if it's not hanging out with that, we're in relationship. If it's not hanging out with Anton and Rita, I'm still hanging out with couples or people that's in relationships or communicating with people in relationships. But I don't really care and watch what women or men that don't have what I want in life. So I'm not gonna listen to a struggling baby mama. I'm not gonna going to listen to a broke man that wants to talk about me because I wouldn't switch places with them at all. So I don't, I wouldn't care. Yeah, because I think what it is, um, obviously, that I guess we got to the petty part of the conversation kind of early. But I think the issue, what I realized when I streamed is like, wow, you see, you're just like me. We have our own goals in mind. And we'll focus on what our objectives is. Not really worrying about too much about the results around us because we're focused on something else. But when I go back and look, when you go back and look, you realize how far you came from the starting block. And it's like, yeah, I'm just doing me. I'm just trying to better myself. And while doing that, there's people looking, there's people around you who's looking at you. It's like, what is she doing there? What is he doing there? I want that spot that they're in. And it's like, all you got to do is put the work in and you can get here. So uh, what, what, what are some, what are some, what, what is your work ethics? to get the uh, success that you have right now. I, mean, that I guess that people want. That's on YouTube? I, mean, I don't think I'm successful on YouTube. Let's just be honest. Regarding me, I think I'm a little different running women and it's my upbringing. Like growing up in the Caribbean household, we were very, is very strict. We're very ruthless in how we talk to people, very straightforward. So a lot of stuff that people say does not affect me, right? Mm -hmm. Because how my upbringing. I've also been in sports. I've also had coaches yelling and screaming. So people can say X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. But nothing they say can affect me because I know it's not true. I've had girls and men hate on me since growing up. 
moving to the States. Oh, she thinks she's better. Oh, she's hanging out with popular men. Like I've had that. So I'm, I'm used to it. Like, but that's why I don't really pay no mind to it because I'm used to it. But what was your question? I'm sorry. What to my success? Honestly, mm -hmm. my YouTube, I don't think I'm successful on YouTube. I just like to go on panels, shoot the shit, talk, have a conversations. Like I can go on a panel with random people and just still have a conversation, be friendly. I've done that a couple of times. I just be sometimes going on different panels. I'm like, oh, let's see what they're talking about. Or trying to recruit mm -hmm. people to come on Monday Anton's panel. But I don't think it's successful. I'm just having fun, chilling. Uh, compared to where most people um, is currently at, okay, to your point, fair enough. But compared to where people people's at, you have hit a you have hit a certain is somebody said okay, I'm tripping. Is you have hit a certain milestone that a lot of people haven't hit because mm -hmm. uh, even although you're doing things on uh, Anton's panel, yeah, keep in mind you still have your own YouTube right now. You instead of doing what is no for people on this side of youtube you got your you say you know what i'm gonna carve and do my own thing i don't have to do what everybody else is doing i can do the blog i can do the blog i can do the makeup i can do the amazon mm -hmm. and you say you're working on a carnival uh video yeah correct? it's very long I've, I've been editing it every day it's a lot so so in the mc right and no more you're gonna get a lot of success with that because you are offering something on this side of youtube that is not common so how do you so what makes you think not what makes you think because that sounds kind of crazy what gave you the idea is like you know what i'm gonna branch out and do my own thing not do as logic talk about the the D P talk i think that like honestly i really don't take youtube serious like i don't want to have one of those channels where we're reacting to the same bs everybody's reacting to Ooh, let's talk about Black China. Ooh, let's talk about Black women. Ooh, let's talk about baby daddies. I think it's just, it's kind of boring to me because I already know that I might hop on Aaron's panel and talk about it. So why would I want to do a show about that? So I'm like, okay, might as well just switch it up. If I make money from YouTube, I make money from YouTube. I probably won't get a lot of viewers compared to what I was because people like chaos and my channel is not about to be about chaos. It's about to be makeup, it's about to be friends, it's about to be this. So I know that's, I know it's not going to be successful and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Cause if I want it to be, if I want, uh, even if I want, because my audience is not that yet, it's not about mm. makeup. It's about chaos. I know that if I wanted to make a killing on YouTube with the audience that I have, I could be half naked, showing my titties, showing my ass, repeating the same red pill bullshit to these men and be getting super chats quickly. But I didn't want to do that. I really, and I can't be consistent because honestly, YouTube is a lot of work. I tried it and I'm like, I can't be consistent. I like taking trips. I don't want to have to just, oh, and then people emailing Q, when are you going to drop another live? When are you going to do this? I'm like, I don't want to get people's hopes up like that. So <laughs> that's another reason I'm not consistent on YouTube at all. Well, uh, it's YouTube is, it can, can it be, can YouTube be hard work? I guess so. It's just that you got to learn how to compartmentalize and create your own schedule. And remember that YouTube evolves around you. So you'll like not necessarily like what we're doing live streaming right now. Sometimes yeah. I just I just may just when nobody's around just uh, pop up, pop up the uh, camera, just click live. I mean click record, mm -hmm. do a thirty minute uh, breakdown. Like I eat the Obsidian just party uh, interview that happened a couple of weeks ago. Edit, post it, and I'm out. Yeah. Just to keep, just to keep people entertained, keep people hungry. But you said something about uh, YouTube that you don't think you're going to be successful. You're going to have to get that out your head. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be successful in a quick way because I know I'm not consistent. For you to be successful on YouTube, you got to be consistent. You got to be posting. You got to be doing this. Mm. You got to be editing. And that's why I know I'm not going to be successful because i know me and i know i'm not gonna 
pull 100% into that because I'm good where I'm at. I'm complacent where I'm at. I don't want to do you too long term. I don't see this as a long term thing. I wow. got stuff to focus on. Did you did you uh, watch my uh, countdown video? Just now? Uh, yeah, well, before we yeah. get on. Mm -hmm. Did you, um, after the AI, did you see the actual video? A lot of yeah, clips the whole, from the, the past. Yeah, it looked like you were streaming for a, a long time, for years. Reco just record, yeah, straight recording. I haven't, I didn't start streaming until, yeah, last year when I came on, uh, yeah, sometime last year, that's when I started streaming. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really come on this side of YouTube with you guys until the night after Kevin Savings passed. Mm -hmm. So that's when I came on. Other than that, I do it on my own time. I might go call hard for three months, take three month break, go another three months, take a break, so on and so forth. I've been doing that since 2015. So one thing I can definitely say is do it on your own time, nobody else's. Yeah. Okay.